Today I will show you how you can edit your photos on the go like a pro using your mobile phone and Lightroom CC mobile app. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. This episode was initially meant to be recorded outside, me showing you how you can take photos with your phone and edit them on the go using just your phone and Lightroom mobile app. But as you can see, the weather is crazy, it's raining, it's windy and it's really cold. So let's go back to the studio. It's good to be back in the studio. It's so cold outside guys and it's really bad weather. But let's start with our today's episode. So what you will need is your mobile phone and uh, Lightroom CC mobile app that you can download it from the App Store or Google Play Store. And remember that the app is free for certain functions but some options are not available in a free version. So if you have a subscription on Adobe, uh, Creative Cloud for Lightroom and Photoshop or you can just buy I think that Lightroom CC subscription then you will have all the options there available because it's really good to have a pro version because you can sync your photos with uh, the computer from the phone uh, to the computer and back so you can start editing on the phone and then continue on the computer or uh, vice versa so you can start to edit on the computer and continue editing on the phone or you can just edit on the phone. So enough talking, let's start with this episode. So first thing that you need to do is to sit back, relax and open your Lightroom CC mobile app. And then you can choose a photo that you want to edit and of course you can edit both photos that you took with your phone or photos that you took with your cameras. Beauty of today's technology is that most modern cameras has built-in Wi-Fi function in it so you can really easily and fast transfer your photos from the camera to the phone and edit them on the go. So it doesn't need to be only photos that you took with your phone. This photo is taken with my X-T2 camera and this is straight out of the box. It's straight out of the camera. I didn't mess anything, uh, any color settings, etc. So now we will edit this a little bit. You can say, wow, this is uh, really cool now. We don't need to edit at all, but I want to edit. So with this photo, I will show you what you can do with the Lightroom mobile app. Basically, you can do almost all that you can do with the regular Lightroom app, except a few things. You, can, you cannot go and change the camera calibration settings so you cannot change the color calibrate the color that's the last tab in a regular Lightroom and uh, almost all other things you can do here so let's start with uh, the second group we have a first group here but we will come to that later that's a selective color uh, healing uh, crop tool profiles etc healing brush is really good because it can uh, be really helpful to remove something from the photo then we have auto option. I don't like it because it will automatically retouch photo like the algorithm thinks it's okay, but I don't want that. I will undo it. And then we have light. So let's start with the lights. It's a regular Lightroom, uh, Lightroom options. So we have exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. So let's start by changing the highlights. I want to decrease the highlights a little bit, then open the shadows. Then I want to lower the whites a little bit and maybe go to the contrast up and crank up the contrast a little bit. If you want to reset any of the sliders, you can just double tap on it and it will automatically reset. So I don't want to reset this. Something like this. And if you want to see before and after, just press and hold. So before and after. Before and after. I really love this. this is just a small tweak, but we are going to the right direction. So let's go to next option it's a color so click on a color we have several options here first we can set a temperature tint generally white balance then we have vibrance saturation and i want to lower the saturation and increase the vibrance a little bit okay and then we can go to this mix option and play with each color separately so that's really useful if you want to choose which color you want to play with you can just tap on this uh, middle icon with the arrows up, down, left and right and just tap on the screen and move your fingers to change the hue of that color or to change the saturation or to change the luminance, depends what option are you set it there. So I want to reset this a few times, okay. And I want to go 
color by color. So I just want to change the hue of yellows. Okay, let's go to yellow towards the orange and of greens towards the orange because I want to make the light in the... Okay, I made a mistake. Light in the house here a little bit more orangey. That's good. Now we can go and play maybe with the blues. Actually, this is like more cyan and blues. See, we can change the blues too. So I will make blues a little bit towards cyan, just a touch, minus four, minus five, something like this. And I'm done. I will press done. And that's it for now. Okay, now let's go to the effect. Next option is effect. So we can crank the clarity. As you can see, it's really big difference. And with this kind of photos, with the Milky Way kind of photos, you want to crank up the clarity a little bit. So I will do it here like 35. We can dehaze it or haze it, depends what we want to achieve, but I will dehaze it a little bit. And then I will put some kind of vignette here, just a touch. All right. Then we have, we can feather it, um, change the midpoint, roundness, highlights, grain, etc. There are a lot of options here, like in regular Lightroom. And we have the first option here, split tone. So we can click on the split tone and go and add some colors in the shadows, some colors in the highlights, etc. But for now, I don't want to do this, at least not for this photo. Okay, so when we are done with this, we can go back to lights. So let me show you. If we go back to lights, uh, we missed one uh, option and that's curves. So we can press on the curve. So now we have really nice curve that we, we can edit as uh, ever we want. So first option with the curves, it's you can add any kind of points and play with the curves normally like you would play. If you want to erase, actually remove any of those points, just double tap on the point and that's it. You will reset to zero. The last part here, it's basically like a luminosity curve. So you can add some kind of luminosity contrast. It's really nice but it will mess with the colors. So it's not like uh, affecting luminosity, it affects the colors too, but it's really nice for adding just the contrast because it's so intuitive. You just need to move up and down and it will automatically make that nice S shape curve. All right, now I added just a little bit of contrast and then I will go to this curve and add a few points here and just open the shadows, just a little bit to open the shadows, right? To fade the blacks. A touch so like that and maybe I will go to reds and uh, just go here and open this part to add reds here just a touch that's my preference nothing special nothing fancy so greens I will leave there blues I will leave there I will press done and let me show you now before and after I really like this after version but we are not done yet so before and after now we can go and uh, go to details, we can sharpen the image a little bit, choose the radius, choose the amount of sharpening, so I don't want to overdo it, right? Then we can go to geometry, we don't need to play anything here, but you can do, you can change the geometry if you're not satisfied with it. Then optics, we can enable lens correction or remove chromatic aberration, but this Fuji lens, it's really good, so if you press enable lens correction, we will do not achieve anything because it's already corrected in the lens. And then we have some presets. Presets are really powerful tool here because you can make the presets, you can make the presets in the Lightroom classic version. So you can change whatever you want. Of course you can create presets here too, but in last, uh, Lightroom classic version, you can create any kind of presets messing or uh, with the camera calibration tool too. So if you're not familiar with what that is, Go and check my tutorial, for example, how to transform summer scene to autumn scene. You can find the link right here. And that's really powerful tool there. So you can change that and then save it as a preset and save it to your phone through the Lightroom CC app. And that's only if you have a full subscription to a Lightroom CC. Otherwise, you cannot import presets from your computer to your phone. But presets are really powerful, you will see see later. So now let's go and uh, go to the beginning, all the way to the beginning and play with the selective part. So I will click the selective and you have a plus icon here on the top left corner and you can change, you can change uh, between the brush, radial and gradient tool. So I will use brush and here you can change the brush size, right? With the first option, then second option you can change the feather. So you can make really harsh brush or really soft. 
for this I will make soft and here you can change the flow. So basically something like the pressure of your finger, something like that, all right? And that's it, I will put the flow on 30 and just with the finger, with the tip of the finger, I will start brushing the parts of the Milky Way that I want to enhance. So it's like this, it's really, really nice option, all right? There and maybe here. And now I can press this diamond icon to remove this preview or press it again to bring it back. So whatever you want. And then here down I have options like lights, color, effects, detail, optics. And those options will be only applied to the mask part. So uh, let's go and uh, you can also erase the mask if you mess it up a little bit. Go just to eraser tool and just paint with your finger again, erase that. Right now uh, I just want to add a little bit more clarity to this selection. So I will go to details and uh, add first a little bit sharpness then to effects and add a little bit more clarity. Actually, I will add a lot of clarity here. And then I will go to lights and bring up the highlights of that part. Okay, maybe the exposure too, as you can see. So to enhance that Milky Way. And this is nice. So this is before and this is, this is after. So this is really good. I will press OK. I'm satisfied with that. And now I will show you overall. This is overall before and after really nice effect before and after so i really like how you can really easily tweak your photos to make them even more interesting and you can write from your phone upload to maybe instagram facebook etc so to save this to your phone just go to the option uh, at the top of the screen and then you can share it save to camera roll save to files etc so if you have android phone it's a little bit different but is the same procedure. All right, now let me show you what you can do with the preset. So let's reset this. I will reset this completely by going all the way to the right and press reset and reset all. Okay, we are back to the start. Now if I go to presets, presets, all right, I have my presets here. So I have several presets that I downloaded from my Lightroom Classic. And for example, I want to use this one. And you can see completely different style. I cannot achieve this style just in uh, Lightroom mobile version because I don't have that camera calibration part. So I cannot tweak the colors like that. Now I can start with this, like it's starting point for editing, or I can just finish with this. I apply, I just apply the preset. I can save the photo and upload it uh, maybe to Instagram. But if I want to continue editing this preset, I can just press OK and then go back, maybe the, the vignette is too high, I don't know, like this. Maybe I want to add uh, more brightness, so I will go to lights, okay, and then crank up the exposure a little bit, so this is it. And this is, guys, again, before, this is a starting version, and this is after, so really nice and beautiful result after just a few seconds, literally a few seconds. Okay, now let's go to another image. Let me show, you. for example, this one. This is a photo that I took in Sweden this summer and uh, it's okay. I took it with my mobile phone with this iPhone 7 Plus. So it's okay, but if I go, I can edit it like step by step regularly, but I want to apply a preset. So let's go to a preset and there are several presets, maybe this summer one. This is really nice. So it's kind of a postcard style now, before and after, or maybe some vintage style. Again, really nice, or maybe this dark mood, orange mood, again really nice and I can go and tweak this dark orange mood. I can apply it and then go to maybe effects, maybe the vignette is too high and now it's even better but the point is that you can like this edit with the presets or let's, let's choose another photo, let's choose this one. So this one is really good and for this I really like to apply, again this is the photo that I took with my mobile phone this summer when I was in Norway. So I will go to presets and this one is really nicely fit or this one too. So I like both of them and guys, this is before and this is after much better result for my taste. I can tweak this even more to maybe desaturate some colors, etc. to maybe lower the contrast. Maybe the contrast is too high, but maybe not. Depend of, depends of your taste, right? And the beauty of all this is that you can just go Maybe like I did here, I was traveling uh, 
uh, with a plane and I just have a phone with me and just took this photo but this is before and I just quickly edited it in Lightroom and post it online so this one and maybe this is before let me show you. and this is after or the window the window is really interesting because here I change uh, the perspective a little bit so this is before and this is after really quick at its few seconds in the mobile version of Lightroom. Read guys and that's it for today. I really hope that you like this episode and that you learned something new and useful from this one. Unfortunately the weather today is really bad so we couldn't go outside to make this episode a little bit more interesting. But I hope that this is more than enough information for you to make your photos even better to edit them on the go like a pro using a Lightroom mobile app. Also guys check out my episode about uh, Snapseed mobile app, another beautiful app that you can edit your photos with. So basically those are two apps that I'm using all the time. You can find the link right here. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them down there in the comment section below. I will be more than glad to answer them. If you like this episode and find it useful, press that like button down below, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And ring that bell icon to get notified about all the future episodes. Right guys, have fun, experiment and see you in next fun episode. Bye bye.